So, Sarah, tell me about yourself. What do you do? Well, I am a teacher. I live in Japan, and I work at university. I teach English. Nice. When do you start your day? I get up very early, around 6, and I get to work at 7. I have my first class at 8.30. I don't get home until night usually. And what do you do for fun? In my free time I go hiking. I like nature so I go to the mountains. I don't have much free time though, so I don't go hiking often. Where do you live? I live in a small house. I live alone. I do not have many things in my house. I rarely spend time in my house. Why not? Well, at night I go to the gym or I play sports, but I clean my house on Sunday, so I am home then. Do you cook? No, I don't cook much. So I buy my dinner every night. And how do you get around? I have an old car. I drive it a lot. I drive it to the mountains of the lake. I like my car, but I drive slow. Really? Yeah, so people get mad at me on the road. Oh, no. I don't care though. I want to take my time when I drive. That's safe. So Sarah, you live in Japan, who visits you sometimes? Well, I have a family in America and I see them once a year, but I go to America. They don't come here. When do you visit them? I visit them every summer when the weather is nice. I don't go home in winter though. It is too cold. Nice. Hello everyone. This is Mr. Bob in Cambodia. I feel good today. How do you feel? What time do you get up in the morning? For me, I get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. What do you do every day? I teach English conversation and grammar in the afternoon. In this lesson, I will teach you about present simple. Because present simple is used, one for permanent situations. For example, she works in an office. I go to work by bus every day. Two for repeated action in the present, especially with adverbs of frequency. For example, he often buys her flowers. We always brush our hair. Three for facts which are permanently true. For example, the sun sets in the west. The earth goes round the sun. Four for timetable or program. For example, the lesson starts at 10 o'clock. The train leaves at 7 o'clock tomorrow. We always use time expressions with present simple. Always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, rarely, never, every day, every week, every month, every year, etc. Now, we talk about positive form. Subject plus verb plus object. For example, I talk. You talk. We talk. They talk. He talks. She talks. It talks. Next, negative form, long form and short forms. I do not talk. I don't talk. You do not talk. You don't talk. We do not talk. We don't talk. They do not talk. They don't talk. He does not talk. He doesn't talk. She does not talk. She doesn't talk. It does not talk. It doesn't talk. Now, yes no question with short answers. Do I talk? Yes, you do. No, you don't. Do you talk? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do we talk? Yes, we do. No, we don't. Do they talk? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does he talk? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does she talk? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Does it talk? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. WH question. Where do you live? I live in California. Why does she study English? Because she wants to go abroad. When do you get up? I get up at 6 o'clock. Okay, next I tell you how to spell verbs with third person singular as the following. 1. Add s to the verb. Example, listen. 
He listens. Love. She loves. Rain. It rains. 2. Add s to verbs ending in ss, sh, ch, x and o, for example, kiss. He kisses. Brush. She brushes. Watch. It watches. Go. He goes. 3. Verbs ending in consonant plus y, we change y to e's. For example, study. He studies. Fly. She flies. But verbs ending in a vowel, a, e, i, o, and u, we add s. For example, buy. He buys. Play. She plays. Thank you for watching me, teaching you from the start to the end. If you have any questions, please leave in comment below. This is Mr. Bob in Cambodia to say goodbye.